Cynthia Overton, Accessibility Advocate and Senior Research Analyst at the American Institutes for Research. What should museums and other cultural institutions know when implementing accessibility? I think that there are a few things that they should know. First of all, I think that they really need to get to know their visitors, get to know their interests. Uh, so many times we really focus on the disability and the accommodation. But people come to museums with different interests. They have different number amount of time, uh, number of time or amount of time that they have to spend in the museum. Um, so it's really important to figure out well, what is it that the visitor wants to experience. Um, you know, if the visitor doesn't know, maybe they're just not certain what the organization has to offer. Then the museum uh, representative can, you know, provide an overview, provide. Uh, suggestions, but it's really important to get the perspective and the interest of the museum visitors. Um, I also think that it's really important to think about, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, technology. How can technology help to enhance the uh, experience? It's interesting because I was at a museum um, a few weeks ago, and um, I got too close to an exhibit. They had technology to tell me to step back. So I really think that there's a lot of opportunity to have uh, implemented technology uh, to enhance the, the museum experience for people with disabilities because it already exists. It's just how do we use it? Um, and another thing that I, I would want to touch on is really the importance of informing and training your staff and your volunteers on opportunities to make museum exhibits, features more in accessible to visitors with disabilities. Um, I actually, another museum I visited a while back, I, I, I let them know that a friend of mine who had a visual impairment was coming to visit me and just wanted to kind of get a sense of how she might be able to enjoy the museum. and. Um, they didn't give me that much information, but they did refer me to the Library of Congress because they have a lot of resources for people with disabilities. So I thought that that was interesting and that, you know, I was interested in bringing her to this museum and this was referred elsewhere. So it's really important to make sure that your staff is aware of all the resources that are available. But I, I also think, though, it's very important to, um, as you're acquiring technology, uh, and I'm really thinking about apps at this point because apps, you know, are hot. Museums are developing apps uh, to enhance the museum experience for all of their visitors. Uh, you put in some voice recognition or a screen reader on a mobile device, and you have a beautiful tool for somebody who needs that um, verbal description. But it's really critical that uh, you work with an app developer who is able to create accessible apps. It's something that you need to have a conversation with. And, you know, like my grandmother said, until he says, uh, I do, you don't. So until uh, the app developer can say, hey, I can create an accessible app for you, it can work on this platform or another platform, don't even think about going there. People want to include everyone when it comes to cultural institutions and when it comes to access. It's just a matter of figuring out how do we do this. Copyright Art Beyond Sight 2014